After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking the chicken, the cops is threw me in jail. And my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. This is the Travis County Jail in Travis County, Austin, Texas. This facility is capable of holding about 300 people. The facility is built where we can house anywhere from the public intoxication individual to rapists, to gangbangers, to murderers, to high level individuals. So if you ever get arrested in Austin, Texas, this is a place where you'll stop. And then the process alone will end up letting you out. Settle down. They can't lie to me. Hey! Settle down, son. Settle down. Hey, man! Settle down. Hey, man! Settle down, settle down. Hey, man! I didn't do nothing! There's no rhythm. You breaking my ribs! You breaking my ribs! You breaking my ribs! Hey, man, two, he spit on. You breaking my ribs! It was more, it was more air than anything else. Get your other hand behind your back. Get it behind your back. You've been cool all this time. We need a restraint check. You all right? He did try to spit on me, but it was more air than anything else. He didn't really get anything on me. Okay, that's back. Go ahead and move him in there before you do the restraint check. I was just gonna put him down in the... Yeah, just have, unless if he gets up. Talk to him if you can. See if you want to calm down cross right. Hold on. Hold on. Try to keep him sitting down. Tell you what. If you if you had put your hands on it and put me in pain like that, there ain't no reason for that. Put him in the chair then. No, put his hands on me and hurt me. Come on. There's nothing going for him. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> Yeah. Sit back. Have a seat. Have a seat. Keep your head still. Make no sudden movements. Lean forward, guy. Lean forward. Lean forward as much as you can. We're fixing to take those off. Only, only when you jerked it away. You don't think I'm going to respond? Take off the spit mask. You think somebody's going to put their hands on you and hurt you? You're not going to do anything about it? He started getting a little agitated and he tried to jerk away. In a correctional facility, we take it as a threat right away because we don't know where that hand is going to go. So I tried to secure his hand. He jerked again. And that's when I get into a wrist lock. He jerked again and I applied pressure, which is when I applied enough pressure on him to where he wanted to put some pain on me. So he tried to spit on me. Fortunately for me, he didn't have anything in his mouth. All it was pretty much a puff of air. The nurse is going to evaluate whatever happened in the cell there. I think that when we went to the ground, he may have hit his lip or his nose. I don't know. He's bleeding, but she's going to tend to that in a little bit. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll do what you tell me. I'll do what you tell me. I will do what you tell me. I will do what I'm supposed to do. I'll be a good boy. I'll do what I'm supposed to do. All right. Yeah, you got that? I will do what I'm supposed to do. Hey, I will do what I'm supposed to do. I will do what I'm supposed to do. I'm so under. I won't move. I won't. I'm not doing anything. That's good. Just relax, man. I'll do whatever I'm supposed to be told to do. You're doing okay? wonderful, man. You're doing wonderful. Is that okay? Yeah, you're doing great. All right, no, you. We've been here before. We've been here before. He does need to see the nurse. You need to see the nurse? Yes, I definitely need to see the nurse. Hey, I know you. Else over his okay, okay. All right. Hey, 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 I don't want to be exposed, bro. No, we're not exposing. We, we need to you. check your pockets for anything. Valuables. No, no worries about that, but I don't want to be exposed. Oh, no, we're not going to expose you. We got you. We got you. We got you. Get on your knees. You got his, you got his hands? Hey, my bottom of my feet. Hey, I love you. I know you. All right. I don't really care about being cold or anything. No, you would not What? Relax. Relax. Relax, bud. I know you. No, no, sit. Is that, is that it?
We need a restraint check. Stop. Hey, stop. Let me have this. I got the mask. Sit back, sit back. I'm an United States Marine Corps veteran from the first goal. Is this what you guys do? You feel better about yourself? Hey, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe that much. We're going to take the mask off in a little while. Are you, are you promised? Hold on, hold on. There you please, go. Sure. yeah, please let me breathe, please. Hey, I'm hyperventilating. If I hyperventilate and then I go to the mental hospital, you guys are going to die. You can probably take off his spit mask. He's all right? He's all right. So he's already coming down. This guy's still a little unstable, uh, intoxicated. The nurse is going to come over and uh, evaluate him just a little bit. Once he's assessed, we're going to take him over to where it's a little more quieter, where he can calm down and he won't be able to incite folks as much. not gonna take any responsibility for what he did, but that's all right with me, it doesn't matter. It'd have been different if he actually had something in his mouth. This is Monroe County Jail. We are located in the heart of downtown Portland. We do have quite a high rate for homicides, and the crime rates here in Multnomah County have a tendency to go up and down very drastically. A lot of people don't have anything to lose, so when they come to jail, they wind up trying to take it out on us or whatever because they're mad at the world. We are the first people that they see when they come to jail, and it can be a dangerous job quite often. since I left, all of a sudden I come to Portland and I got a port probation violation pull up on me. Yeah. Oh, He's got a warrant. Come out far? Just got back into town and oh. had contact and now he can't go home. He's so you've been in the hospital the last 24 hours? I ain't been nowhere, man. You diabetic? You suicidal? I ain't got Settle down. I, I understand you're mad, but well, settle down. We talked outside. Man, we ain't talked about this You profiled me for the wrong reason anyway, man. I told man. you when you're in jail, go this isn't going to work for right. you. You want to be mad at me, fine. Be mad at me. But with these guys, don't do that. Not here. I got the right to be mad, man. <laughs> I'm going to calm down sooner or later. But don't try to tell me right now. Okay. I'm about to lose my job and everything. All right, sir, when I took the handcuffs off, place your hands flat on the counter. Do you understand? Do you understand? I sir? heard you, man. I'm going to cooperate. Excuse me if I'm a little upset right now. Be upset all you want, but don't take it out on us because we're not the ones that brought you here or anything. I know who brought me here. I'm looking at him who brought me here. Take your jackets off. Let's take your shoes it. off. Take your outside shirt off. Place it on the counter. Make the best of it. Make the best of it. Yep. Put up here. Dang. Doing my job, man. Right now, I'm taking $58.83, your wallet, shoelaces, glasses, like your information belt, too, don't I? miscellaneous paper, miscellaneous commissary, and I'm going to put my business card in it. Please put it on here. That's me. Right here. If you want this stuff back, you need to sign. Four fingers straight out of the bed. Take your jacket, shoes, pants, put stuff back on, have a seat. Thank you. 
have a seat. He's pretty angry at the arresting officer right at the moment. Hopefully he'll calm down, we'll keep an eye on him, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get him the rest of the way through the booking process. Stay in one place. Got it? Help you. Don't help me. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Officer, what did you bring these two in for? These one to one two are in here for disorderly conduct for fighting in the parking lot of the Max platform. They were fighting? Yeah. Yada, yada, yada. It goes on and on, but one of them supposedly had a knife. Nobody this one had, had the case for a knife, but nothing right. was found. Mm. Of course. I'm going to take your shoes off, place them on the counter. Take one of the shirts off, place it on the counter. I said one. You have a problem with uh, instructions? I have no problem with instructions. Obviously, you are having problems with instructions. Put one of them back on. Step backwards, spread your feet out. Keeping your hands on the counter. Put your shirt on, put your other shoes on. You too have a court date of 212 of this year at 130 in Gresham, Oregon. So, other than that, lose your attitude, little boy. I told you, you are not here. big enough to be throwing a coat in here. Well, there's no reason for me to lose $100 for no reason. I You're mean, not losing anything. I would hope not, sir. Lose your attitude is what you need to lose in here. It's just if you don't realize my partner is standing behind you with a 50,000 volt taser, lose it. We win in here. You don't. I know that. That's why I'm not doing anything. And well, I, I, can, I can tell you have been fighting because you're all bruised up on the side of your head. So lose it, because you will lose in here, I guarantee you. It's just such a habitual thing for my civil rights. It's just such a damn shame. I pay taxes for you guys to serve me, and you guys f me over so hard. What you need to do right now is shut your mouth. Okay. What you need to do is take your coat, put it on, and go have a sit. Can I? Yes. I appreciate that. Thank you. He's definitely got some marks on the side of his head and bruising. Something was going on out there. We won't know the bottom of it, but hopefully they'll sober up and get along Geo. so we don't have any issues. Sometimes you have to use the best verbal judo you possibly can. They're obviously going to try to do whatever they can to, to push your buttons, but as officers we have to rise above that and maintain a professional presence. Talking them down out of situations that can get out of hand. In most cases it works if you, if you uh, are persistent in, in using verbal judo. We've got the sergeant and a few officers out in Sally Port right now. We've got a combative coming in. Walk on in on your own? Damn right, I'm going to walk in. Okay. Dude, dude let me explain myself, dude. Okay, right. I'm going to just walk they, with you. They came, gave me a hard time, dude. Okay, dude. And for dude. no reason at all, uh, I was just walking down the street. I don't know what's right going on. So what the hell's going on? Because I'm a Yankee. They don't like Yankees around here, do they? Mm. Oh, we got more I mean, Yankee, dude. I'm, I'm so glad the Giants won the Super Bowl. I was so glad. Oh, I was so glad. Oh. Uh, well, that's guaranteed the Yankee team had to win that. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, you know, hey, hey. Hey, dude, what the hell's going on, man? Why are they doing this to me, man? I'm a Yankee. You don't like Yankees, do you? I'm a f***ing Yankee and I'm proud of it. I don't give a f***ing thing. You all. You jerk <laughs> lazy bitches. We're gonna pat you down. Don't don't get up there. Don't get up there. Just stand there, okay? <laughs> about you. <laughs> you. What do you want to do is screw people around. I got nothing in there. I'm touching through. Going after a little guy for drinking in public. Get the <laughs> out of here. Why don't you go up to real guys doing drugs and pushing it? You got so much drug pushing out here, man. Do me a favor. Go to your knees right here, bud. Yeah, aren't you? There you go. Why don't you go up to the real guys, dude? You jerk. Ah. Okay. 
feel good right now. I don't feel good right now. I really don't feel good right now. You gonna throw up? Yeah, I'm gonna throw up, dude. All right. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. We gotta take this jacket off. That's fine, dude. You want to jail like that? Guess what? I got something for your stupid ass, your southern ass, dude. Can you take this off for me? Yeah, I'll take it off for you. Just shove it, dude. Your stupid southern ass. You're a dude. Shove it. Just shove it, dude. Just shove it. No, no, no. I'm gonna rest, dude. For what? Drunk? For what? Drunk? Just gonna. Yeah, okay, dude, whatever. You don't like Yankees, do you? I don't like you either. You know what? You don't like Yankees, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the thing about... If I have your money, I'm going to put it out here with the camera. No, dude, you don't do that. Man, why do you do that? I got no hand. Yeah, what did happen with this guy? We got a report of a public intoxication. Someone being passed out uh, over at Jack in the Box. We got out over there. He was um, asleep with his head down towards the table, EMS came, they woke him up, and then he began to be combative with us, so. He actually uh, so. tried to strike you guys, or? No, he, he just started um, getting aggressive with us, so at that point, we didn't think of it. Yeah. Well, he didn't strike anybody, though? No, he didn't strike cool. anybody. All right. So. Good. That's, that's something we'd like to know, so <laughs> I appreciate it. Sure. Thanks a lot. Hey! Don't bang your head. Do not bang your head. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Don't bang your head. Sergeant. Sergeant. He's banging his head. We have to put him in chair. 511, please. Give my money up. Yes. You give me my money like that when I've got handcuffs on it. That's the way you give me my money. That's the way you give me my money. That's the way, that's all I gotta say, man. Hey, you know, that's the way you wanna give me my money, dude. Like that, dude? Dude, I didn't commit any serious robbery or any crime, dude. I don't understand it, man. Come on, do your job, dude. Come on, man. Understand why we're doing this though, right? I don't understand. You can't, you can't hit your head, can't hit your head on that window. Get your well, head on that window, you, you can do some damage to yourself. Can I play safe, help me? I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Obviously, we had to take it up a notch and, uh, and place him in a restraint chair. That's something we won't, we won't have anyone do is hurt themselves, you know, while they're in our custody. Uh, they don't like being in the chair, but it's necessary uh, to keep them from hurting themselves. We're able to take Richard out of the chair. He's completely calmed down, and once he gets sober, he's a completely different person. Actually pleasant to be with. He's tired. Richard, Simmy, let's go see the judge. So you can get out of here. Come on. Let's go, well, see, the judge. Let's go see the judge. Come on. Right now, it's 4, four o'clock. Come on, let's go see the judge so you can get out. Four o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the court. Class C docket. You just pay attention. Go in the courtroom, no talking, no sleeping. Go through the process, be in and out. Good morning, I'm Judge Williams. You're all here on what we call the Class C misdemeanor docket. Those are basically city tickets. All right, so let's get started. All right, uh, Richard, uh, public intoxication, that's worth $242. What do you want to do with yours? No contest on that. No contest? Okay. You're going to owe $142. Signed, and you're going to get a copy of this paperwork when you're released. No questions? Have a good evening. That's a far cry from when he first came in. I think we're making progress. 
and the doors open up and they leave me outside and they hand me my clothes and, and the key to my ride now the night hits my face and it brings me to life oh lord now i'm out that jail tonight another night in my street another night in my hair now i'm kicking and tripping without the cops on my chair now my hands on the wheel and my fingers grew tight i'm gonna go home to my family tonight Open up and they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be.